Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 13th. It's a Thursday, 13th of April. CPI yesterday came in weaker, uh, but stocks didn't like it. Let's look at the stock market. Uh, made this new high here, 41.78. Closed down at 41.13 on the dailies. It's much clearer, bearish engulfing. We've made a new low today. Um, this look like looks like it wants to go left. Nazi, um, same type of bar. I guess S and P would be regarded as slightly more powerful because the high we breached these we breached this high here, so we cleared out some stops up there even more. So this, I think the S and P is even little bit more bearish but the market just has to settle in for um, rates uh, inflation is coming down but rates are going to be higher for longer um, unless we get some huge piece of news that's going to bring down the house uh, we still like being short tens uh, we feel like rates tens are going to head back up to four um, and a lot of that might be people questioning uh, the interest payments and the burden of these payments um, on the U.S. federal government. That's another longer story. Um, also probably bearish dollars. Anyway, Aussie the unemployment came out last night on this bar here. We went from 85 up to 20. Now we're back at 04. Um, Aussie doesn't look, doesn't look great, gotta say. Uh, are we going to get through 66.22 this week? I don't know. Is it likely that we get through it in the coming weeks? It does look like it. It does look like we're going into a period of mild risk off. Um, maybe a period of sadness, right? Market's feeling a little bit glum. Um, Dollar yen, similar to the S&P uh, bar, but the opposite, right? So it flashed down to 132.68 and then crawled its way back up. We did take a peek above this 134. We thought we were going to get up here to sort of 134.80, 135. We did not. Um, today's an interesting bar, right? Like if we get above 135.05, that is super bullish. My guess is is cross yen is going to head lower today, uh, and we'll just drag dollar yen slowly lower uh, as we go forward. We do have PPI today at 2:30, so that'll be more uh, inflationary indicators. Got to keep an eye on that. How about gold? What the fuck? Wow, this <laughs> these two bars, right? 2028 down to 2001 back to 2020 now or 2017 um, I would say it's the structure of that bar is bearish um, almost like a double top up there and now uh, 1980 is a big deal uh, but it's also bullish because it's closed above where it opened I don't know about gold I'm, I have a feeling gold's going to take it into Keister um, and head south, but not sure. Did we get capitulation in dollar Swiss? Uh, we had some bids at 89.12. Did not get given. This was the low here, 89.43. Euro Swiss is also like sort of probing. 98 cent, 98 centime level, um, which a lot of people in Switzerland think is going to be the floor. Um, I don't know. You know, everyone was long. Did they survive this? That's 100 points lower. Uh, we'll have to look at the data today as we get it to see see who survived this. One thing we're focused on is Swiss yen. Um, This got stretched up at 48.70 to 48.90. The high was was 97. You can see this is one, two, three, four, five, five up days. Um, stretched at two and a half sigma to 
today. Two and a half sigma is 49 and a quarter. Um, we like this Swiss yen to turn, but it can't turn unless dollar Swiss turns. So we're keeping a close eye on dollar Swiss. We're seeing um, what's going on there. Sterling yen also. We were playing this on the short side yesterday. Um, we'll be selling this uh, up towards 166.90 today. Uh, what's this? I <laughs> Excuse me. Um, just playing uh, with these mean reversion signals here. Swiss yen and sterling yen. Keeping a close eye on them. Euro Norway had a bit of a turn yesterday. Uh, where is it? Solana is also higher. Well, first, let's go to crude. Crude's at 83 bucks. Wow. The reason I bring this up is 83, um, 83.68 is the 200 day. We've been up to 83.36. We're now at 83. The figure this chart is delayed. Uh, where are we? We are. Oh, I don't have the crude up. Anyway, we're right around 83, 83 cents. Um, 8370 is going to be resistance first time, uh, but a daily close above this, and voila, you're through the through the 200 day. So the reason I bring up Euro Norway is, you know, it's it's been shooting higher, um, got all the way up to 1157. This is way way out of court. Um, it, if you if you listen to the economists from Norway, they're they're basically saying that uh, the Norwegian Central Bank is is screwing around with Euro Norway and, and causing this thing, uh, and basically selling Norwegian Krona, um, which is causing this re is the reason this is here. I don't particularly understand it, um, but I do know that this is getting stretched uh, back through eleven forty on this becomes a little bit interesting, right? Or up at 11.64, which we won't fade because there's a hysteria up there and a fear up there that you have to be aware of. Um, but we are keeping an eye on Euro Norway, especially if oil breaks that 200-day moving average. One last chart for you is Euro Kiwi. Um, up at 177 a quarter. Between 177 a quarter and 177 a half, you can sell this, right? Um, got to be a little bit careful of this. It's just a day trade because Kiwi is offered and Euro is bid um, as sort of medium term trends. But again, just on sort of playing with the stretch, this is 400 points over five days. Um, we will be having a look at that level. Again, when we look at these levels, it's embedded into a story, right? So it depends on what's happening in the market, what the price action is. Um, what time of day it is, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but these are these are the levels that we're watching. Short Swiss yen, looking to sell some sterling yen and maybe sell some euro kiwi, uh, and wondering if dollar Swiss um, was capitulation yesterday. No evidence of that yet. We just have to see going forward um, what the price tells us. All right, that's all I got for you. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.